What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to a squad builder. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the squad I've been using in the early access, um, the formation that I find best and the team that I've been using best as well. Uh, I'm really enjoying the team I'm using. It's a BPL team. It's not really the team you're going to be expecting. I've been trying a lot of different players and I'm going to take you through all the different things in a second. But before we get into that guys, if you would like to purchase the cheapest FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Coins, check out cheapfootcoins.co.uk. A very fast and reliable service the link is in the description so getting into the team guys um, I'm gonna start with the goalkeeper first of course and uh, let's go to the league BPL search my club and in goal guys we're going with Mignolet now Joe Hart was an option uh, check was an option I packed Mignolet He's played a lot of games for me. I gave him the wall chemistry style, uh, so he gets kicking, diving, and handling, and that's simply because his uh, his reflexes and his positioning are pretty decent. His speed isn't all that great, uh, but kicking, diving, and handling for me are some of the most important, like the you know the most important. Um, obviously, people will have different opinions and and such, but Mignolet does a good job. The goalkeepers in FIFA 14 at the moment seem to be broken anyway. I do understand that EA are putting out a patch. But uh, they seem to be broken, and that's who I've gone with. In at the right back slot now, I've gone with. A f I had a few choices here. Um, I've gone with Bakari Sanya there at right back. Uh, I've also given him the sentinel um, chemistry style to give him defending and heading. Um, I don't really use the fullbacks too much in the 4 4 2, so I don't need pace, I don't need passing, I don't need dribbling, and of course, I don't need shooting. So defending and heading makes sense. Um, like I said, I did try Zabaleta. I prefer Sanya because he's got the better work rates. He has medium, medium work rates, changed from medium high last year. And um, then in at centre-back, guys, we've got two centre-backs here. The first centre-back we have got is David Luiz. Uh, some people not really... I don't really know. Some people don't like him so much this year. He's a bit a bit different. And again, I've gone with the Sentinel card, defending and heading. He's already got pretty decent pace, and his all-round attributes are awesome, but I want to improve that defending and heading. Now, the prices of these players, guys, I packed most of these players. The prices of these players is not worth me talking about because they will fluctuate massively over the next week or so as the, the official game comes out fully. Um, so I won't let you know about that. Uh, but I tried uh, Nemanja Vidic there. I tried playing with him, and he is a really, really good centre-back. But for some reason, the few games that I tried him in I lost the games um, and uh, the last centre back we've got is Eunice Kabul so the old pairing from last year we've got David Luiz and Eunice Kabul I do want to try like an expensive BPL team with company and Vidic but uh, for now we, we're using Kabul and Luiz and again we've got the sentinel card on him there he's got good pace anyway I want to improve that defending and heading so there we go in that left back guys I've tried two guys I went with either Kieran Gibbs or Gail Clichy and I preferred Gail Clichy and I actually gave Gail Clichy the um, what I can't remember what the uh, what the work what the uh, chemistry style is called, um, but it gives him passing, defending, and heading. And the reason for that is, uh, unlike Sanya on the right hand side, Clichy has a high uh, player work rate. So he actually does get up the field a fair bit. So his crossing is relatively important considering that this time around uh, heading is very, very important. So he's got pace anyway. I want to improve his defending and heading naturally and I want to improve his passing to help improve his crossing so that when he does cross the ball, it's going to hit the target. And that there, guys, is the defense and goalkeeper. Now, the right midfield has been a tricky position for me. I've tried lots of people. I ended up going with Lamella. I've tried, uh, as you can see on the bench, I've got Jesus Navas. I tried Navas. I tried Ben Arfa. I tried Nani. I tried um, Arnautovic. And I tried Lamella. And this is a position that I just don't like in this 4-4-2. Like, the right midfield just doesn't get involved in many, many games. Um, you know, Lamella there, he's... Look at that! Five games for me, no goals, no assists. I only I've played like probably around 30 games with this team as a mix, um, but with this team specifically, I played five games just to get the goals for this. And um, yeah, Lamella just gets lost in the games. I've given him the uh, the maestro card, shooting, passing, and dribbling. Um, he's not really known for his pace. I think Navas might just be the better fit. If you look at Navas's stats here for me. Uh, Navas has 22 games for me, three goals and 10 assists, which is way, way better than uh, Lamella. But I do think Lamella is a better option here um, because that position is lost anyway. Navas is too expensive and Lamella is a good fit there. And then in at centre midfielder spots, guys, we've got Steven Gerrard, who's been an absolute god for me. I've given him the shadow card, pace and defending because he's not the fastest. And I, I like one of my central midfielders to have solid defending. His heading's already pretty good. His shooting and passing is exemplary anyway. And the other centre midfielder spot, guys we have got uh, Santi Cazorla uh, again I tried a lot of people here I tried Lampard I tried Fellaini um, 
I, I can't remember who else I tried. I've tried I tried about eight midfielders through here. Cazorla is a really nice player. Um, his pace, is, again, not the greatest, but it's not that important this time around. I've upped his shooting and passing because he is like he's a key to this. Uh, his corners are great. His chip through balls are really effective because his passing is good. You see, for me, there thirty goals, thirty games, five goals, and eleven assists. Uh, that's not too bad for a centre attacking midfielder where the the kind of the strikers do all the scoring this time around. But Cazorla is my other centre midfielder, and in the left midfield, guys, I went for Ashley Young. Because his shooting is really nice, he's got high pace, and he's got the finesse shot trait. And on top of that, he's uh, he's right-footed, cutting in from the left the left side, which is why I thought maybe Ben Arthur or Lamella might have been better. Because if you look at Ashley Young's stats for me, he's got 34 games, 16 goals, and four assists. That's really really good. I've given him the uh, the sniper card to improve his shooting and dribbling because that's all I really use him for. I don't cross with him too much. I use Gail Clichy down the left-hand side to cross. So I use Ashley Young to cut inside, open the space up for Clichy, and take those finesse shots. We then move on to the strikers, guys, the last part of the team. And the first striker I've got there is Wayne Rooney. Now, Rooney isn't too expensive right now, and I think his price is going to go up massively. And I'm not just saying that because I've got one. He is a god. So he scored 12 goals in 10 games for me there, guys, as you can see. I've given him the Hawk card, which improves his pace, shooting, and heading. His heading is already pretty decent at 81. I don't care about his passing or dribbling. Dribbling is not really something I do in FIFA 14. It's not something I've really picked up on. Um, but his pace and shooting, obviously quite important with his, his relatively low pace. And Rooney's got good strength as well. So Rooney is a, a god. His finesse shot is fantastic. His shooting in general is great. And last but not least, guys, we've got Fernando Torres. Now, I tried a lot of strikers in this team. I tried Benteke, Lukaku, Andy Carroll, who actually scored a lot of goals for me. Um, and the... The first striker that I really noticed that was exceptional was Torres. Um, I don't know if that's because he's got all-round really good stats, pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, and def and heading. But uh, he's just really good to play with. And uh, he's also got the Hawk card, pay shooting, and heading. Again, because heading is quite overpowered. You can see there he scored 25 goals in 28 games and has 11 assists for me within that 28 games. So 36 contributions in 28 games is very nice from Torres. This is the end of the actual squad building. As you can see there, everyone's got the uh, the perfect chemistry as well. Uh, even Lamella has 10 chemistry, even though he hasn't got the, uh, the loyalty bonus for me just yet. Uh, I packed most of these players, guys, um, but... They're not. This isn't a super expensive team. You could probably pick this whole team up for around 130 to 150 thousand coins. Now that might be expensive right now, but in a month or two's time, a lot of these players, their prices are going to drop massively, and and they'll be like you know standard players that you can get for cheap because they've got high card weights. So um, if you do want to use this team, I recommend it. I also highly, highly recommend the 4-4-2 formation. It's a brilliant formation to use. But let's get into some uh, some gameplay and some goals and talk about the goals and how the team plays. Okay guys, into the gameplay we go, and uh, I didn't show all the goals from the five games that I played with this exact team, uh, just because some of them are pretty boring, like there's a lot of corners slash headers in there, a lot of crosses slash headers as you'll see from the start there, um, but I just want to talk briefly about why I picked the team that I picked. So first of all, we'll start with the attackers. I wanted some someone with strength, with good heading and good finishing. Uh, there's probably a, a fair few strikers that fill that role, um, but Rooney and Torres just seem to fit that perfectly, you know, their, their shooting abilities are very, very good and on the wings I was initially looking for and this is why I changed teams quite a lot before I found and settled on this specific team I was initially looking for crosses of the ball because heading is very very strong in this game um, but throughout playing I found that using the wingers is better for dribbling inside and shooting with the finesse shots maybe getting corners from it and scoring from the corner so I initially went with Young on the left uh, for that exact reason you know he's got pace he's got the finesse shot that's fantastic and Lamella on the right hand side um, it's not working for me, to be honest. Like Jesus Navas was probably my favourite right midfielder. and um, That was a lovely finish from Wayne Rooney there as well. Um, but what I was looking for on the wings was crossing ability and shooting ability, among other things. So if you're going to be playing the 4-4-2, you should be looking for those too. Uh, in the centre of the park, I always like to have one defensive-minded midfielder, but and that's Gerrard, and he's also got very good shooting as well, which is very nice. And then I want one creative midfielder, which for me is Santi Cazorla, and he is very, very good at what he does. His finishing is exceptional, and and because his passing is so good as well, he just sets the strikers up for days exactly like that. As you see there, a stupid goal with Wayne Rooney, but it went in nonetheless. 
for the for the fullbacks, I was initially looking for defensive-minded fullbacks, and on the right-hand side, like I said, maybe this is testament to why the right-hand side doesn't work so well. But on the right-hand side, I w I tried a few guys and just didn't really like who I was playing with until I found Sanyo, and he's defensively very sound. And on the left, I settled with Gael Clichy because he just attacks really, really well. And again, another stupid goal from Kazola there. Gael Clichy attacks really well, and like when you find someone that works for you, find a, a, a chemistry style that also works for you, and it will like your team just becomes so so much better and then of course in defense i want strong guys who have got good work rates even though david Luiz is, isn't the best and uh good heading and defending and that's exactly what cabal and Luis have got the weakest link in this team is minule but i don't see the point in splashing out in a goalkeeper right now simply because the the game is the goalkeepers are just broken they're just dumb like act, actually dumb you know so uh, i don't want to spend thousands and thousands of coins that I don't really have on a goalkeeper who even though he's high rated is still going to be dumb um, but hopefully you've enjoyed these goals guys hopefully you've enjoyed this squad builder if you want to if you want to see a specific squad builder let me know that was the last goal for this time around the finesse shots are ridiculous Rooney is ridiculous this team in general is pretty damn ridiculous I advise you to try it out but thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time cheers